What's happening, family? It's your boy Andre Romance, and I'm at this thing again. Now, what's happening, y'all? I'm out here today, man. I'm out here, I'm well. I'm excited just to be alive, man. And for that reason, man, I want to, I want to break down my assembly of wear, my hairdressing, my daishiki. I want to break this down for y'all because it's a lot of us that see me and they go, why is he wearing a daishiki? Or why is he wearing a turban? You know, and people, they don't like what they don't understand until they understand and understand, then they like, all right, I rock with it. But what this is about, my appearance is about my movement. It's about this fight that we all share in common. We are in war right now, y'all. We are in war over our minds. We are in war over our bodies. And if we don't gain control over it, we are gonna lose. We are gonna fail. So yes, my daishiki represents this revolution, right? This fight that you can be free. You have your rights. And it's up to you whether you decide to lay down and take what they feeding you and take what they, they what they're trying to teach you mentally or you can stand up and figure out the information for yourself. Decide what you're going to eat. Take control over the diseases that have been killing us for years, decades, centuries. There's nothing new to what is going on in America or any of these other countries. Ain't nothing new about it. So I take pride in standing up for what I believe in, which is myself, my family, my friends, the people around me. I see all of these different kinds of people, all these different types of people, different ethical backgrounds, um, different preference of gender. I see it all. But one thing we share in common is the idea that we can either, we can either follow the trends, we can accept the information that we've been given, or we can dissect this information and we can see how it's being manipulated against us. We can see how much information that's, that has been withheld from us our whole lives. I don't think hell exists. I happen to believe in life after death, but I don't think it's got a thing to do with reward and punishment. Religion is always in the control business. Uh, and that's something people don't really understand. It's, it's in the guilt-producing control business. And if you have heaven, as a place where you're rewarded for your goodness and hell as a place where you're punished for your evil, then you sort of have control of the population. And so they create this fiery place, which has quite literally scared the hell out of a lot of people throughout Christian history. Mm -hmm. And it's part of a control tactic. But wait a minute, you're saying that hell, the idea of a place under the earth or somewhere where you're tormented for an eternity, is actually an invention oh, of yes. the church. I think the church fired its furnaces hotter than anybody else. <clears throat> but I think there's a sense in most religious life of, of reward and punishment in some form. The church doesn't like for people to grow up because you can't control grown-ups. That's why we talk about being born again. When you're born again, you're still a child. The people don't need to be born again. They need to grow up. They need to accept their responsibility for themselves in the world. What do you make of the theology, which uh, is pretty quite prominent these days in America, which is that there is one guaranteed way not to go to hell, and that is to accept Jesus as your personal Savior. Yeah. I grew up in that tradition. Uh, every church I know claims that we are the true church. And they have some ultimate authority. We have the infallible Pope. We have the inerrant Bible. The idea that the truth of God can be bound in any human system, by any human creed, by any human book, is almost beyond imagination for me. I mean, God is not a Christian. God is not a Jew or a Muslim or a Hindu or a Buddhist. All of those are human systems. 
which human beings have created to try to help us walk into the mystery of God. I honor my tradition. I walk through my tradition. But I don't believe my tradition defines God. I think it only points me to God. So this is the movement. So my, my daishiki represents my, my strength. My ability to step out and be independent from everything that we've ever been taught in our lives. And that I'm gonna craft my own story. You have to craft your own story, your own legacy. Your dreams and goals, all of that stuff, you have to build that for yourself. Don't allow nobody to show you what a particular thing looks like and tell you these are the steps that you gotta go through to get it because it's different for everybody. And as long as we think like that, we are never gonna make it nowhere. So when you see my daishiki, be motivated that it is a revolution going on as far as wanting a better life for yourself and your children and your friends, your family, everybody around you. Wanting to see everybody feel like they belong. This is what it's about. My turban is my crown. It represents my power with, from within. It represents my ability to have self-control. It represents everything that I that I value, my morals. The way that I take my time to dress my head protects my energy. have to decide that everything that you do in your life has a purpose and a meaning to it. And whatever your purpose is in life, you have to dress the part. Whether it be putting on a cheerleading outfit, dressing up to be a nurse, a doctor, a mechanic, Everybody got something different that they are passionate about. And you have to dress the part. And when you are passionate about wanting to be held in a high standard, holding yourself accountable for the things that are going on around you, the things that are happening in your life, taking full control over everything that's going on in your life and having no doubts, no regrets, no excuses of why you, you're not making things happen. No excuse of why your immediate family is not happy with their lives. Because it falls on you. And likewise, your happiness falls on everybody that claims to love you. And so this is, this is what I mean. This is what I'm saying. Take pride in the things that you do. I take pride in the dashikis I wear. I take pride in the turban I wrap. I take pride in how I brush my teeth. All of these different things I take pride in. I do them the way I do them because I have value in them. And I want to encourage you all to have value in your life to where you stand out amongst the crowd. The things you do have purpose, they have meaning to them. They're not just following the trend of getting up every day and doing this and doing that because that's what's expected of you. But you're doing that because you enjoy it. You're embracing the idea that that's your choice for today. That you're in charge of whatever happens in your life. I encourage y'all, man, to be focused, be motivated, be passionate about life. If not anything else, be passionate about living. Be passionate about being able to maneuver and being able to decide for yourself. Be passionate that there is information out there that is more truthful than what you know right now. There isn't one person that know everything about life. And so it's up to you to find out the information that you need to be the better you to get to your next level, spiritually, mentally, physically, all of these things, man. You're in control over what you eat. You're in control over what you allow to be uh, in your life. 
You're in charge of all of these things. So do something with it. We live in a, in a country where you can decide what you want right now. It's not illegal to think for yourself. And I encourage you all to take advantage of it because we are at war. We are. Every second of your day, you're gonna be challenged with something that's not good for you, challenged with negativity that's going against what you believe in. It's just challenge after challenge. But it's up to you how to get to the next level and battle through these challenges. So I encourage you all that you don't have to wear a daishiki or a head turban, but find value in the things you do. That you hold yourself at a standard that you need to hold it at to remind yourself that you are greater than what everybody else is trying to give you. Than what every society is trying to tell you that you that you're allowed to do. You're greater. You're a queen. You're a king. I love y'all, man. I want to see you all growing. I want to see you all in a better place than you are right now. And I want you all to be motivated, be encouraged, be inspired to do something greater with your life. I love y'all. Y'all keep me up and I'm going to keep y'all up. And I'm out this thing.